Oh, good afternoon, everybody. I'm Hajin. I'm going to be teaching some really nice yoga nidra today. Um, so make sure that um, before you begin, you have your props with you. Find a comfortable shavasana for our nidra. Uh, blankets, pillows, you can need a bolster or um, anything that's going to provide you support warm enough to keep you comfortable, you know, too cold, um, just finding you there. So when you, um, when you're ready, just um, find your seat, nice comfortable seat, you can place your hands, rest them on your thighs or your knees, just allow the torso to maybe pulling, feeling the hips and maybe kind of rotating them around, just to adjust yourself, feel what feels good for you. Sometimes, we do have that perception of where our body is in the planes of this world. And we, you know, we might think one way of how our body is positioned. And actually, in reality, if you, if you really take a good look, um, maybe the body's in a different position. More tilted to the right or to the left. Just find your comfortable seat. Um, make sure you're sitting on a bolster or a blanket or anything that's will give you provide comfort. Make sure that the hips are not um, cinching in and you're cutting off circulation. Make sure there's some flow going down to your legs. Um, your legs can be crossed. It can be uh, like a tripod, you know, one ankle on top of the other. And maybe the shoulders, you'd like to just readjust them. Roll them a little bit just to release any tension you might be feeling there. And just taking a few breaths to really let yourself release down. Just allow the comfort of the body, the stillness of the body to take place as you journey into creating this beautiful breath. Beautiful, deep, and mindful breath. That's, that's our goal is to create that in the beginning of every class. Whether you're taking mine or anyone else's class, I mean, the most important thing is really to find the feel breath, to find the equalization and evenness and smoothness in how your breath moves your body. So in the beginning here, as our eyes start to close and our hands come to, our, one of our hands come to our chest, the other one to our lower belly, Fingers spread wide. Just start to gently release ourselves down to the earth through our sit bones. Feel the connection there. Just allow yourself to root down and the whole spine elongating upwards. Body still. Mind beginning to settle here. It's you start to notice all the wandering thoughts that might be causing it. Not attaching, but just noticing all those things that might be going through your head. Maybe the things that might be happening after this class. Maybe something that happened earlier this morning. Maybe something that's planned for tonight. Just let it all go. There's no need to think of that now. I think about how you're feeling in this moment. And imagine that you are creating this beautiful space in your mind to deepen the practice that you'll be practicing today. Not to attach yourself too much to the words that might be, that might be said throughout this practice. And as those thoughts start to clear away, just back and our mind and our consciousness starts to create and become very strong with the sense of our breath. Our body soft, our mind relaxed, focus on our breath. Allowing the shoulders to reach down and soften as you. Continue to engage the belly to lift the spine nice and tall. And then begin to notice the breath. Start to move the belly. 
And you inhale, you notice the belly moving away from the spine. As you exhale, you feel the belly reaching back to the spine. In that arm or the hand that's touching your lower belly, you feel that in and out, expanding, contracting of your belly. Inhale, reach the belly back far away from the spine. As you exhale, reach the belly back into the spine. Feel the movement. Become aware of the movement of the belly with the inhale and the exhale. And as you begin your next breath, set the breath at that lower belly, feel the expansion, belly pulling away from the spine, and then start to rise up to the rib cage. And then hold it, pause, and exhale, contract that belly into the spine again. Again, inhale from the lower belly all the way to the rib cage. Pause. Exhale, release the breath out of the belly. Just continue like that for a couple more breaths. Really challenging yourself to create a breath that rises all the way up to the rib cage. And then pausing for that moment. And then exhale, head all up. And on your next inhale, start to rise. Start the breath from the lower belly to the rib cage. And then now feel the top hand moving out. It comes to the chest, the rising of the breath all the way up to the chest. And then pause. And then exhale, release to the lower belly to the ribs the chest. Again, inhale from the belly, to the rib cage, to the chest, pause, and exhale from the belly, to the rib cage, and the chest. Just continue just like that. Inhale, rising up like you're inflating yourself up. Rise and exhale. Down through your feet. Release the hands down to your thighs and your knees. Continue to create a beautiful mindful breath. Deep and long. Take a moment to set an intention for your practice and also to find gratitude in your life. I am grateful to be alive. I am grateful to be in community with you, with others, in a mindful, peaceful way. That's my gratitude. That's my thoughts. What are you all Same time. Ready to unfold the eyes open. Coming back to the room, and then we'll start to really move our bodies a little bit, find our way to a 
nice little twist here as we get ready for our practice. We'll place our left hand right by your side. Your elbow is kind of hugging in. Place that finger wide as you reach. Inhale, reach that right arm all the way up. Right, keep pressing through the left palm so you're not dumping your weight. Right, you want in your out your shoulders start to hunch. You want to really find length in that left side of the neck too. Right, and now lengthen yourself up. And as you exhale, contract the belly and the spine. Sweep the lower the right arm all the way to that left side. Just feel the stretch on the left side of your body. Keep reaching the shoulders away from the ears. And inhale all the way back up. When you're ready, take that inhale to bring you there. Place and gently place that right hand by your side. Hug your elbow into your ribs. Inhale, reach the left arm all the way up. Try not to reach that shoulder to the ear. Turn Reach, press down through the right palm and lift the weight to lengthen the whole entire body, right? When you press down and lift, you feel the um, left hand just reaching up even further, right? Everything can be nice and aligned, plus engagement in the right side of your neck. And just breathe here, feel the breath. Always coming back to the breath and create stillness in our body. Getting that your focus to stay present. Mm, you ready? Exhale, reach that arm all the way to the right and just feel the stretch from your left hip crease all the way, all the way up the rib cage to that right left side. Right? Feeling that stretch, continue to lift, to breathing. Mm, inhale all the way back when you're ready. Take your inhale all the way back. And start to look, rotate your shoulders, just feeling that release, right? Place your hands on your thighs and then gently reach yourself forward, engage everything here, engage your hips, and then start to reach the right shoulder is going to start to rotate all the way to the left as you exhale. Exhale it out, find a twist in the navel, reach the right shoulder all the way to that left side, feel the stretch and the twist. Pressing your hand, the right hand down into the thighs to kind of reach you further to that left side. Inhale all the way back up. And exhale, find the twist. Rotate that left shoulder all the way to the right. Feel the stretch. You can feel it in your shoulder. You can feel it in the lower back. Right? Press down and engage. Inhale all the way back up when you're ready. Take your time. Don't let me rush you. I'm going to place this bolster away from me to kind of extend a little bit more, right? Really nice. And then slowly just folding for a moment. Place your hands in front of you and just rotating through the hips. We're just going to walk the hands. Try to keep the whole spine the same, right? Try not to dump one part of the spine to try to fold more than the other part of your spine, right? So we do have a tendency to reach the heart down. And then what happens is Pulling and bulging out the lower back, and then you're putting pressure in the vertebrae. So think of rotating all the way forward and as far as you can without rounding your back, right? So I'm going to show you how you've got this nice tall back here, and then all you're doing is walking your hands forward, rotating through the hips, right? See how my spine is staying exactly the same? There's no movement in my spine, it's exactly the same. We're just going to fold as far as we can. Pressing down through the seat, keep engaging that core, always protecting the lower back, and breathe. Maybe you can come all the way down. If you need a block or a bolster or something to kind of find a little bit of support, right? Just know your limits, know what you need to help use the props to help kind of get you into a better fold. Really, the sensation of the fold that we're really looking for. In fact, Jeff, you guys can watch this time. Good. If you had enough, slowly walk your hands back towards the body as you start to rotate yourself all the way back, hinging up the hips. And your nice line spine, really nice. 
We're going to slowly reach that left leg straight out. You're going to flex your feet, right? You're going to keep that right knee bent, right? And then you're just going to rotate it down, and that right heel is going to flow into the groin. If, you don't, if this is too much for you, please, you can always move that leg a little bit away. If you'd like, and this is too easy, maybe you'd like to reach the left leg further to the left side, right? Up to you, right? You can be as wide as this, up to you. Even have it as close as you can to the center. Right? Just keep flexing your feet, curl the toes towards you. As you can see, I'm curling my toes. And as you're ready here, you're going to start to inhale, lengthen, exhale, start to rotate all the way to that left foot, that straight foot. And you can place your hands on either side of that leg. Right? Nice tall spine here. As you exhale, you're rotating through the hips. You're going to start to rotate all the way down. And again, spine aligned. No trying to move the head forward faster than everything else, right? And now you're misaligning the spine. So just staying just like that for as many breaths as you can make. But try to keep the breath really slow, right? You want to do this really slow, even breath. Two more breaths here, really focusing, maybe closing your eyes to stay inward, right? One more breath. And then slowly walking the hands back to inhale and come all the way back to the center. Really nice. Let's do the other side. Let's bend the left heel towards the groin, maybe the right leg extended, flex your feet. Right, just nice and tall here. Our body is nice and tall. The spine is really engaged and elongated. We're not dumping anything. Nice and tall. Shoulders back. And then start to get a deep breath in. As you exhale, start to twist. Rotate yourself all the way, pointing towards that right foot. So the whole torso is pointing towards the right foot. The right leg. Really nice. As you exhale, contract that belly into the spine, start to rotate the hips to fold forward, right? Walk your hands towards your feet as far as they'll go without starting to round your back. And just breathe here. Really being mindful of how you are protecting your, your back, right? We do tend to round it a lot, and now we're trying to learn to keep it nice and tall. The more you do this, you might be aware unconsciously of how you're positioned in life. You have no idea if you're walking hunched over. You, you, there's no sensation of that because maybe you've been doing it for a long time. Maybe this, this mindfulness and awareness of your body may help you start to straighten up a little bit more, right? Because you're finally aware of how your body's positioned in the planes of this earth. Take one last breath, walk your hands back, come all the way back. Really nice, oh, really nice stretching. We're almost done here. I know I'm taking a bit of time doing this, but I just think it's so important to stretch really good to help kind of get that spine nice and juicy and lubricated before we come into our sh Shavasana. So, soles of the feet come together, and sorry, I do have Miss my sock. My one leg, one foot is broken, so I, I do try to keep it in the sock for just, just because it kind of keeps us stable keeps in my mind. Um, your knees might be really high, and if that's the case, you can keep it like that. You can always sit on a blanket, right? That will help rotate your hips a little bit more, which might help you feel a little bit more, and your knees might come down a little bit. It's up to you. Remember, your hips, everybody's hips are different. The ligaments might be attached differently. Tendons might be in different positions. I mean, very similar, but everybody's different, and everybody's anatomy. So again, spine is nice and aligned, shoulders pulling back and the chest forward, maybe grabbing the ankles, maybe grabbing the feet together to hold it in place. But we're not rounding, our shoulders are often up, cave in like this. You know, we want to be really tall and breathe here. Think of your breath. Let the breath inhale, bring you upwards. And feel the, the grow, growth of your body as you growing with your breath. Mm, feels so good to stretch and really create space and movement in your spine. And then again, as you're ready and your next exhale, you'll start to rotate to the hips, 
start to fold forward. The whole spine line still, just fully forward at the hips. Everything else kind of following you through, right? And just staying here for a moment, right? Just breathe. Close your eyes and just breathe in and out. Think of trying for at least five breaths, right? Mm. Inhale, lengthen the spine forward. Exhale, contract that belly in. If this is too much, maybe you're feeling something in your knees because you're trying to pull the elk knees down. So, you know, keep it up because no one can, you know, unless you're trying to overstretch something, you just got to be mindful of how your body feels, right? If your body it's too much for your body, you lift, the knees can come back up. I'm just folding here for a moment. A few breaths to really get that, get that total sensation of folding the body. When you're ready, you'll begin to, and when you've had enough, you'll begin to walk the hands back or slowly inhale yourself all the way up. Oh. And when you're ready, help your knees come together. Gently come off your block or whatever you're on, bolster blanket. And let's come all the way to our backs as we start to get ready for our really nice yoga nidra here. Just a few breaths here, just hugging the knees and make sure that the shoulders are not hiking up, make sure the shoulders are down. And by holding onto the knees, if your shoulders come up, maybe you just want to grab the back of the thighs, right? Whatever feels good without jeopardizing the spine lifting away, shoulders lifting away from the mat. And just breathe here. Notice your breath. Feel the sensation. Notice how as you exhale through the lower belly, you can feel the spine reaching down. For the sacrum, releasing the tension there. Maybe that can move your knees a little bit to just massage those areas there. Maybe you're feeling cracking going on in your, in your extremities or maybe in your lower back. Just feeling how nice that is, just moving everything and giving it that little bit of you know, squeeze, release type of thing going on. Mm, feels so good. So hug everything in. Right. And then slowly take a moment here, cross your right, left leg over to the right, left leg over to the right, and then place your hands in a T or cactus arms alongside your body, and then slowly maybe placing the left foot down and then lifting that um, left hip and moving a little bit more, or the right hip and moving it more to the, to the left before you start to exhale, move the knees all the way to the left side, right? Or to the right side, sorry. Just opposite, you know, the legs are gonna move opposite. And then maybe lift the head and gently um, place the gaze to the opposite side. Now, if your neck hurts in any way, just make sure that the face is just straight towards the ceiling. Right? If you have any neck in space, just be careful. Feeling that nice twist here, maybe using that right hand to pull that left leg all the way to the left, to the right side of the room. Oh, feeling that stretch. I'm feeling it here and here. Just breathe. Oh, it feels so good. Mm. When you're ready, inhale all the way back. Let's do the other side, right? Uncross that leg and then cross the right leg on top of the left, right? Lift the hips and reach that left hip more to the right. Exhale, reach the knees all the way to the left side. And lift your head, move it towards the left and then rotate, looking all the way back to that right side. Maybe placing the left hand on the right thigh for a bit of a twist here. Really be careful. If something is hurting, like readjust yourself. Find a little bit of adjustment in your um, legs so that you're not feeling any type of pain. And take one last breath. And 
in, inhale all the way back. Hug everything in for a moment. Take at least three deep, deep breaths. Close your eyes. And then when you're finally ready, just really squeeze yourself into this tiny little ball. Take a deep breath in. Hold the breath for a moment. Squeeze every cell in your body. And when you're coming out through, just soften up. Keep your legs wide. Place the mat, your feet kind of fall to the side naturally. Head, the back of the head is down. Give that supported blanket underneath your. Remember to find a really good shavasana. Blanket underneath your knees, and then maybe a blanket underneath your your head. Right. So really important. I would just recommend grabbing for something underneath your head. The shoulders are lifted and pulled down. The heart is lifted. The fingers are wide, and you've got this V alongside your body. Palms up. You need like something underneath your hips. Totally find a way to like, find a really comfortable position. And then settle in. Close your eyes. Begin to release all the sensation physical world away so that we can just be here. Mentally, physical being, just releasing our breath, you know, allowing this automatic breath, and just feeling the sensation of the body drifting away as we begin to internalize. As you begin to slowly let go of the physical aspects, starting from your toes, just allow yourself to Release any tension you might feel in your toes. Release the tension in your feet, the right foot, the left foot. Release the right ankle, the left ankle. Feel the whole entire leg, the right leg engaging and then just allowing yourself to release that whole entire right leg down to the earth. Noticing the left entire leg from the ankle all the way up to the hips. Maybe engaging and activating it for a moment before you release it down. And just letting the exhale release the parts of the body. Right? Engaging the belly, engaging the hips and your bum. Taking that breath and then holding that engagement for a moment before you start to release it down to the earth. As you lay there in complete comfort, feeling the torso from the belly all the way up to the chest, engaging it for a moment as you take that breath in, activating the muscles for a moment, and then as you exhale, release the muscles all the way down. No more activation. Feel the right arm and completely engage it for a moment before you release it with your exhale, allowing the whole entire arm to just be. Again, noticing inhale, left arm just really engaged and powerful. And as you exhale, completely releasing down. Allowing the shoulders to maybe tense up if that feels okay while you're laying there, but not too much. We don't want to strain ourselves in any way. And then exhale, just release the whole shoulder down, the whole body, the neck is relaxed. Your face is engaged for a second, like you just bit into a lemon, right? Squeezing all the parts of your face. And then as you exhale, releasing all that tenseness in your whole entire face, your eyebrows, your, your eyes. Lips are soft, your ears are relaxed, the jaws are just there, just kind of drawing down. Maybe the lips are parting. And 
as I begin to body scan you today, just don't attach yourself to each word, right? You're just going to notice the word and move on to the next word. Just let yourself just be here and just notice the parts of the body that I cue you on and just let it, let it go from one body part to the other without staying too long thinking about the other, other body part, right? That one body part that you might have that feels like you need to work on or something. So start to bring your awareness to the breath gently moving in and out through your nostril. With your next inhale, feel the effortlessness of the breath as it moves in and out. It's patient and effortless. It's a gentle tight of breath, dancing through the nostrils as it flows in and as it flows out. With every inhale, the breath draws into the nostrils and with every exhale, it draws out. Feel the sensation fully. Bring your awareness to the navel center. Focus on the rise and fall of the navel. Now see this motion like a calm and gentle swell of a bath in the deep ocean. And gently bring awareness to the breath in the back of the throat. Be aware of my voice and remain awake. Do not sleep, just surrender and completely relax. Move your awareness to your mouth. Become aware of your tongue. Lower jaw. The lower roll of teeth. Upper roll of teeth. Gums. Upper lip. Lower lip. Space between your lips. Both cheeks. Right ear. Left ear. Forehead both temples, back of the head, top of the head, tip of the nose, the right nostril, the left nostril, the right eyelid, the left eyelid, the right eye, the left eye, the right eyebrow, the left eyebrow, Space between the eyebrows. Now go to the right hand thumb. The right hand thumb. Second finger. Third finger. Fourth finger. Little finger. Back of the hand. Palm of the hand. Wrist. Forearm. Elbow. Upper arm. Shoulder. The right armpit rib cage, waist, the right hip. Go to the left hand thumb, the left hand thumb, second finger, third finger, fourth finger, little finger, back of the hand, palm of the hand, wrist, forearm, elbow, upper arm, shoulder, the left armpit, Rib cage, ribs, waist, the left hip. Go to the right big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, little toe, sole of the foot, top of the foot, heel, ankle, calf, knee, thigh, the right hip. Now go to the left big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, little toe, sole of the foot, top of the foot, heel, ankle, calf, knee, thigh, 
the left hip, groin, the right buttock, the left buttock, lower back, mid back, upper back, the right shoulder blade, the left shoulder blade, back of the neck, back of the head, the right inner ear, the left inner ear, roof of the mouth, throat, the right collarbone, the left collarbone, the right chest, the left chest, middle chest, upper abdomen, lower abdomen, navel, groin, the whole spine, the whole head, the right arm, the left arm, both arms together, the whole right leg, the whole left leg, both legs together, the whole front body, the whole back body, the whole body. Be aware of the whole body. Bring awareness to your nostrils. Observe the gentle tide of breath as it passes along the nasal membrane, flowing in, flowing out. Observe it without it altering it in any way. Experience its tantalizing caress effortlessly dancing along the nasal membrane, flowing in and flowing out. Now begin to shift your awareness of breath from its obvious physical dimension to a magnetic, luminous quality of energy or light. Imagine with each inhale, dancing particles of energy drawing into the body, a life-sustaining radiance. And with each exhale, all unwanted energies are cleansed from the field of the body and mind. With each inhale, dancing particles of charged luminous energy patiently caressing the nasal membrane with life-giving force. With exhale, all obstacles to our fulfillment dissipate, leaving us cleansed, renewed, and even revitalized. Now begin with the number 33. Count the waves of this luminous tide, counting backwards from 33 all the way to one. So with the next incoming breath, follow the tide of energy in, count 33, and then follow it out, count 32. In, 31, out, 30. Continue without disturbance to the breath simply counting backwards all the way to one. Remember, remain aware, do not sleep. If you lose count or become distracted, simply begin again wherever you are without thought or without judgment. Now, go to the soles of the feet. Move all of your awareness to the soles of your feet. Experience the sensation of heaviness. 
being absorbed into the body through the sole of the feet. The feet drinking in the experience of weight, heavy liquid metal filling through the soles of the feet into the legs. Feel the sensation continue filling through the legs into the whole body. Feel it move into the waist, into the chest, into the arms and hands. Feeling this expression of weight and gravity so full, the body begins to sink into the floor. Intense gravity pulling the body into the floor. Now slowly feel the sensation of weight and its gravity leaving the body. The sensation of weight seeping out of the body and into the earth. All experience of weight dissipating into the depths of the earth below you, leaving the experience of the body weightless. The body now weightless begins to float just above the surface of the floor. The body hovers above the floor like a cloud hovering above the surface of the earth. Sense the space between the body and the floor. Surrender into the liberating experience of weightlessness. Now, imagine a moment in your life when you felt tense and taste that moment completely. Imagine a moment in your life when you felt really relaxed and fully embodied that moment. Imagine now the sensation of feeling sad and the sensation of feeling happy. Fully embody the feeling of happiness. Imagine now the sensation of feeling helpless and then imagine the sensation of feeling powerful and fully embody that sensation. Now gently return to my voice, return to my instructions. I'm going to guide you through a series of images. Observe any sensation that may arise as I share the images, but do not become overly involved. Each new image I describe brings a fresh new experience, but be without thought or judgment of the experience. Remain detached and observe whatever arises out of the mind and body as you experience each image. Experience the faint light of the midsummer's dawn over a mountain lake.
and eagle flying. The pungent smell of earth covered in the morning dew. A couple in love enjoying a romantic dinner. A gentle wind. A restless sea. A woman crying. A baby smiling. A cherry tree in blossom. Fish in a pond. A wilting flower. A smiling Buddha. A dark empty room. A flicker of a candle. A school of dolphins. A sea snake. A young girl praying. A dog raising its tail. A golden egg. A starry night. A full moon. A calm, endless sea. Slowly journey back into the awareness of your body. Feeling the sensation of the fingers and the toes gently moving. Allowing that mind to return to this present moment here. Eyes still softly closed, internalize this whole sensation. Maybe allowing the arms to drift back to stretch in opposite directions. And when you're ready, you can gently roll to your right side in a fetal position, resting your head on your right upper arm and staying here for as long as you'd like. Sometimes I come into this position at the end and I just wanna stay here for a really long time. Stay as long as you'd like. But when you are ready, eyes remain closed, soft. Roll yourself all the way back up. Come back to a seat. And we'll chant one sound of Om to finish our practice. And just take a deep breath in. Oh. Place your hands together at your heart center. And allow yourself to let go, to find peace, find harmony within you. Always know that in honor of all that there is, and all that we are, we have strength and power within us. Namaste. Thanks for joining me in this practice. I hope you had some good relaxation today and release recharged for the rest of the week and join me again for yoga nidra uh, this coming friday
Look forward to seeing you guys. Have a great day.